ఇక కాలేజీ అమ్మాయిలు మరింత ట్రెండీగా కనిపించాలంటే టెర్రాకోట జ్యువెలరీ బెస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ అంటున్నారు డిజైనర్లు ధరించడానికి తేలికగా ఉంటుంది అంతేకాకుండా సౌకర్యంగా ఆకర్షణీయమైన రంగుల్లో ఈ జ్యువెలరీ తయారవుతుంది ఈ జ్యువెలరీ స్కర్ట్స్ పల్లాజో లాంటి ఆధునిక దుస్తులకు కూడా మ్యాచ్ అవుతుంది మరిన్ని విషయాలు తెలుసుకునే ముందు ఇప్పుడు సక్సెస్ స్టోరీ చూద్దాం Hi, I'm Riddhi Gupta and I am a, I am the founder of Teeny Genie. I am 20 years old and Teeny Genie is basically all about creating miniatures and helping people recreate their moments and their interests in the form of miniatures. And I basically customize miniatures for people for any special occasions, any special moments or anything that they'd like to capture in a small little area. So that's the idea behind it. Also, I teach kids how to make these miniatures because I feel that it's a very beautiful art and I love spreading the love for this kind of an art. So I am a recent graduate of, uh, of retail management and IT from St. Francis College for Women. In third year, we had a fest at our college and I had set up a stall. in my college uh, and the theme of the stall the theme of all my miniatures was women entrepreneurship since i study in a college where they are all women so i feel it's something very important and the idea behind it was when you dream of something when you want to become something when you have a miniature of that in front of you it would only push you towards achieving that goal so my idea was if people wanted to become maybe a designer maybe a ceo maybe a singer then if they have that in front of them they would definitely want to achieve that pursue that dream even more so that was my stall and i think it went very well because after that there were a lot of people from college from different places contacting me for my work so back in college i was definitely facing difficulty with dividing the right amount of time because i didn't get a lot of time to give to my work i always complained about not having time but i still managed it because it was something i loved doing it it was just something i was very passionate about so i just had to get some time out put it into my work but the good part is now that i'm done with studying i am actually able to give it a lot more time and also my studies i feel in some way have been useful like i've learned things like digital marketing marketing these subjects are definitely something even retail management it's something i can implement in my own work it's something that is going to take me a step ahead of from what i am already doing so it has definitely been helpful that way so my first order if i must say the one i done professionally my first order was uh, for an anniversary so it was their first anniversary and this person who asked me to do it for her uh, wanted something special so they have this first picture of theirs on a staircase of a proposal so she wanted me to do that for her in the form of a miniature so that is what i had done for her and it's special because of the mere fact that it was my first order and it was something a person who didn't even see my work uh, counted on me to give them something special so that was important for me So back in the day I started with quilling initially uh, I used to love quilling it's called paper quilling it's a an art which uh, which is made out of paper strips you make different things like humans out of paper strips so that is where it started but uh, you know with time I always had a thing for the little things anyway but with time uh, I started making things from you know an art other than quilling which was basic miniature art so previously i used to make it for people close to me for you know relatives you know for a special occasion and down the line i realized that it could be something that i could actually make for other people as well which i could sell it could be a great product so that is when i realized i could do this for people and i started making it um, it might have it's almost been one and a half to two years now since i had started teeny genie my library is definitely my favorite i call it my classic library i love reading so i have made this library to suit me like what i i mean my taste and my preferences the books that i love everything is designed based on what i love and that's the reason my library is very special to me i took on and off i was not working continuously but on and off i took approximately 6 months to complete that library although it might look really tiny
So a lot of the materials that I use for my miniatures are usually upcycled. Like I use old t-shirts, I use old boxes, maybe you know things I find around myself, even including things like uh, clothing tags. I save up all of these because they turn out to be quite uh, you know useful in my miniatures and I also feel it's a little way of me giving back to the environment. Things I could buy outside are things I can just upcycle right at home. So I think that's my bit doing there and apart from that there are other materials which of course I buy from stores like Itsy Bitsy and you know there are a few local stores which have quite amazing materials and I use materials like you know uh, from basic materials like cardboard to wooden embellishments to charms and you know papers basically those are the basic materials that are required for all of the miniatures you know I can find the best of the materials right around me you know I never throw away things that's one thing I always make sure whatever I get packaging any of that I always make sure I save it up and put it at home and then I'm just going to you know one you know at one point I'm just going to feel like this looks like you know maybe a charger so I think I can use it in a certain way so yeah that's how I usually end up making my miniatures and those are the materials I use My speciality is the details, you know, the little details that I add to my work is what I love doing. Like I'm going to add a, maybe a coffee mug, whatever is close to you is going to be there, which is what makes it special. So I just think the beauty lies in the details and that's what's great about a work like this. When you have something in mind, when you've thought that this is what I love, this is what I want to do, you really need to block the rest of the world out. Even if they might, people might tell you that, oh my God, how are you going to manage things? How are you going to do certain things? But honestly, it's just you being very focused on your goal. If you know that this is what I want, then even if you've got like back pains, shoulder pains and it gets stressful, you really need to just keep up with it and love what you do. If you're going to love what you do, your work is not really going to feel like work. It's just going to be... A release for me when I work it's like a release and I feel that's how it happens when people love what they do is it just does not feel like work it's something it's a part of you and it feels great Chusarga success secret Ika Sampradaya Dustala in a Chiralu Parikinilu Lehengala Midaku Terracotta Nagalu Suta Taya Ani Kangar Padals and Ausra Meledu Alanti Dustala Kosame E Terracotta Jumkalu Chevi Butalu Pratekanga Tayaro Tai E Matti Nagalu Bangaru Nagalato Sarisamana Attraction Kudan this tonight Idi Valti Navia Karikramam Marasarikota Episodo Malikalatam Antwork Salamu this is the www.youtube.com slash 130 channel.